The nightmare is over. Hey cuties, PG here. Welcome back to a new video. And in this video, yes, oh my gosh, I can't believe it's already over with the, like the Bratz Mean Girls collaboration is over. Um, I feel like it was just yesterday that we got Katie's release. Everyone was like flabbergasted by ho how horribly it went. And I'm Regina. And now we have the two pack. Um, and here we are at the very end of this collaboration, which, you know, it's kind of bittersweet, right? Because on the one hand, um, it's been a mess. It's It's been a shit show. Um, it's, yeah, all the bad things. <laughs> but on the other hand, um, what an amazing collaboration. You know, like, I feel like this, just because of like how horribly these drops went um, and all the scalpers and um, all of that stuff, all of the nasty stuff, just because of all that stuff, I think we can still acknowledge that the actual dolls, like, and the IP, you know, the cross-branding, like, I mean, it was just it, a pretty genius collaboration. Yeah, but it's, it really sucks that after all that happened, um, you know, we, we, you know, that kind of got muddled. We, we kind of forgot about how iconic really this collaboration should have been. Um, and it should have should have been more. <laughs> oh, but it, it definitely, I feel like it fell short of really reaching its potential with how much it could have done more for people and how many more people it could have reached <laughs> so with this uh, latest drop the last drop obviously it was karen and gretchen's two-pack um and people were like not looking forward to the drop because obviously you know regina's was horrible katie's was terrible <laughs> so i think we all had like really um like the worst kind of expectations as to how the last one would go, especially because this is a two pack. It's the most expensive uh, set because there's, again, there's two dolls. So it's a hundred US dollars. And uh, it, yeah, so I think a lot of people were a bit more apprehensive, shall I say, to uh, getting them, um, especially after how Regina's drop went and Katie's, um, which is kind of sad, you know, I'll get into it later as well. But like, essentially, I think, um, you know, I don't think a lot of, or as many people were interested in getting the two pack because one, uh, you know, if they didn't get the other two releases, then there's really no point in getting in getting the two pack because like it, it it works best if you have all four but if you're missing one then it just doesn't work to, it doesn't work as well you know because you're missing the letters <laughs> to complete the book um and then two obviously because you know how the uh, previous drops went people were really just discouraged and they just had enough of this bs you know like people have things to do people have lives so it does this whole drop um, the two previous times going as horribly as it did, it takes up energy and time. And those are things that not everyone has to spare. Um, so I feel like that's also why people were not as invested because they either missed out on the previous dolls. So there was really no point in completing the collection now or starting it now or, you know, trying to get the two pack because like what what's the point <laughs> if you're going to be missing the letters anyway? And then also people were just really fed up with uh with the drops and again like i think me for instance i was like i'm not even gonna try <laughs> but i did end up trying it just for funsies because i was aware that they were not going to be able to ship to my country anyway so i really just wanted to try and see how it would go and uh here is a screen recording right now of how it went basically i obviously failed <laughs> i didn't get it i didn't get them and even if i did get to the checkout page um it would probably tell me sorry we can't ship to your country or like choose a different address so so, you know, like it's not really a situation where I can win in either case. <laughs> but um, essentially the process was the exact same like with Regina. And speaking of Miss Regina, she just loves to haunt our carts because not just for me, but for a lot of people, they also experienced ha having a Regina just randomly pop up in their cart. And that was basically a bug where you couldn't take her out of the cart either. And you were kind of stuck with her. And that kind of, I I'm not sure if that hindered people being able to go through with the checkout process or um, or not. Because for me, um, I don't know why, but she was just immediately in my cart. And as I was trying, as I was waiting, you know, in line, 
to check out, you know. Uh, she was there, and obviously, it didn't show at, as if she was available or not. Um, and then eventually, you know, that two pack is sold out, of course. And I kept refreshing uh, the two pack uh, listing, and it showed me as if it was still available, but it wasn't. So I kept trying again and again to add the two pack to my cart to check out. I waited again. Regina was still there. <laughs> and then in the end, obviously, it was over because, you know, it definitely uh, on the listing, it showed, you know, it sold out. So there we go. Uh, so that was, again, basically the same like with Regina. And I just think it's like ridiculous how they didn't fix the bug of the, the website. Like they didn't fix it at all. Like <laughs> nothing changed. Like they didn't change anything. They improved nothing <laughs> upon the previous release. Like it's, it's ridiculous, right? Like and Regina still being there, still like glitch. Like, has no one noticed? I mean, it's just kind of um, insane. And obviously, that didn't tell people. It made the whole thing worse because, um, again, I'm not sure if that would like if Regina was in your cards. Like, were you still able to check out or or not? Like, was she the reason you couldn't? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think there was really restock of Regina. Like there was no restock of her. Like I don't know why, but it was just a glitch, you know, her popping up again. Um, speaking of, you know, the restock, like the additional stock was applied here for the two pack. So um, that was good at least. So there's probably going to be a little bit more units of the two pack, just like with Regina. So that means that they won't go for as insane prices uh, like with Katie on eBay. Uh, so that's, that's good, at least because with Katie, you know, uh, since she was the first to drop, they didn't have additional stock for her because again, she was the first to drop. They, they didn't know. MJ apparently was totally oblivious as to how popular this collaboration would end up being. Um, and so they didn't have additional stock of Katie. That's why she's also the most expensive on eBay. Her listings in price have still not lowered really much. Um, she's still very expensive, uh, but Regina's prices have lowered and and a two pack, I'm assuming, is also, is also going to be um, more realistic in terms of reselling prices, res reseller prices. So at least that's okay. Like at least they're not going to go for like 500. So, <laughs> which, yeah, Katie goes for like up to 500. I've seen, which is insane. So I think you know, for me, obviously, I tried, I failed. Um, did you manage getting the two pack? Did you fail? Did you succeed? Um, because for me, I wouldn't have been able to get them anyway. Because again, they don't they don't even ship to my country. So <laughs> it's a lose lose situation. <laughs> and so yeah, the two pack sold out in less than uh, three minutes. So just like with Regina, um, and I'm assuming yeah, because of the added stock, the additional stock that they're gonna do for the two pack uh, deliveries will be uh, happening through November from November uh, through December. So, um, yeah, they're going to be delivered, uh, you know, like kind of late. I mean, late, it's like a December, it's like a two months from now. Um, you know, it's October 31st right now. So, um, yeah, but it's still like, you know, people are still waiting on Regina to ship. So from what I've heard, so, <laughs> so you know, it's okay. Um, so yeah, it, it happened, it, it passed and, um, it's over. <laughs> so, I think a lot of people were more likely to get the two pack who tried this time around, which, you know, it's great that, you know, those of us who did try, um, most were able to get them. Obviously the two pack still sold out like really quickly. And obviously scalpers and bots still played a huge role into the reasoning here as to why they sold out too quickly. Um, but you know, at least, um, some more collectors were able to get this two pack. Uh, like I mentioned before, I think the biggest reason as to why there was a bit more room here for collectors, for actual collectors to get the two pack is because um, so many people were already discouraged to get the two pack after Regina and Katie's drops. Um, a lot of people were just put off by the whole uh, handling of the situation. And I think that's why uh, more, more people were able to get them because less people showed up to the party basically, <laughs> which is kind of sad because if you think about it a collaboration like this should have been a party it should have been um a huge event but it ended up being everything but like this it ended up being this negative thing that we all had to think about eventually um and a drop happening and like scalper prices and listings and like all of this all of the mess you know like we don't need that we just wanted to have a great collaboration and i feel like it just got ruined by all the negatives here of the really of the drops basically the releases um and then also uh el corte inglés from what i can tell 
Um, I checked like before recording and the listings for the Bratz Mean Girls dolls are not there anymore for in, in on the website of El Corte Inglés, the Spanish one. Previously, they had uh, linked, they had shared, a, they had shared the links for Katie and Regina to their Instagram stories, you know, brats. Um, but today, uh, they didn't know such thing. So I think that is so weird um, that they're not even sharing the links to uh, the Spanish website anymore. And they're just like, yeah, well, you know, they just assume we will figure it out. And it's like, really? <laughs> it, I just feel like it's like they really just shared the post to announce the release happening. Um, and then they were like, okay, that's it. I'm gone. <laughs> like <laughs> they really just came and went, you know, like the Brad's account, they just did the bare minimum to announce the release happening and um, nothing else. And also speaking of uh, information that doesn't add up, like with El Corte Inglés, uh, Regina's drop, her post, the caption reads like as if they're gonna add uh, another website to uh, release Regina on. But then they never they never followed up on like what was gonna happen with that information. Like, is there gonna be a Amazon UK release date for Regina? We never got information on that happening. And they wrote the same exact thing on the two pack caption saying that, you know, UK fans, you know, stay tuned um, for like a, an eventual uh, UK release. Uh, they didn't even specify Amazon because I think they saw how Katie, Katie's Amazon release happened and it was really bad. So I think that's why they also stopped um, fully releasing uh, the two other releases on Amazon. Um, and they didn't even mention Amazon anymore in these two, uh, in Regina's post and the two-pack post. Um, but they did mention like UK fans, stay tuned for like more information to come on like future releases for the two-pack. Um, and once again, no follow-up, like we don't have any information. And it's kind of bizarre to me that even for Regina's information, we don't have any updates like for UK fans. Like what are we supposed to think and believe and what are we supposed to know like what is it why why is brats so bad at communicating like why do they say uk fans stay tuned and then they completely forget that they ever said that like it's they completely forget i bet you they actually forgot <laughs> that they wrote that in a caption um because like why else would they not mention or follow up on any of this information that you you know you would think is kind of crucial to uh releasing more dolls to more fans across you know again they said uk fans so like why would they not follow up on something as important as that uh so i just think like it's it's so bizarre to me and then of course el corte Gles with the two pack the listings completely gone i don't know where they went um so that's also very you know questionable like what's happening here right like i'm not sure um so yeah i don't know what's happening it's it's really ridiculous like it's obvious to me that brats has not improved um upon seeing the releases of regina and katie all they did really was add a little bit more stock to regina and the two pack which okay great fine did it really change much i don't really think so like they probably just added like a thousand more units and called it a day and a thousand units for regina and the two-pack is barely anything it's nothing so i think this is a they could have improved in so many more ways but yet here i am still ranting about um and repeating the same issues over and over because brats does not listen they do not care they did a bare minimum of addressing certain things at the beginning with katie's drop and then they completely dropped the facade of actually caring uh, about their fans and this release so yeah i mean it's just my opinion obviously more people were able to get a two-pack but that's again that's only because a lot of collectors actually stopped trying to get a two-pack so just like just listen to that right like that's so depressing like that's so disheartening that um that a lot of the community uh, and fans of this collaboration um, actually gave up on trying for the two-pack because of how horribly the past drops went. And that's the only reason why more people were able to get the two-pack uh, in the end today. So that just, to me, that's so sad. This should not be the case. With collaborations like this, you should always have the chance. Anyone should have the chance to get them if you want. But here, it was anything but that. Like, that was not the case. Um, and even with Skelector releases, at least they have a heads up. You know, I feel like Mattel, at least you know what you're getting yourself into. But with this, these releases from Bratz, it's like, wow, it was a mess. They didn't clean up the mess. And they just left it right there for us to deal with. And it's like, 
I, yeah, I genuinely feel like brats did the bare minimum here when it comes to addressing the problems. Even the scalpers, like I'm pretty sure MGA knows that the scalpers are the biggest issue here that they have with this, these releases for this collaboration. And they did nothing against it. <laughs> they did nothing to fix the problem. And I guess like, yeah, what could they do? I don't know. I'm not sure. But they could have done something. You know, they could have introduced a membership. Um, or they could have added more shipping options for countries. Uh, you know, international countries. Availabil availability. And it could have made the made the releases uh, into pre-orders. Or like made to order kind of situations. Um, I guess a lot of those solutions would make the dolls less limited but come on now like do we want the dolls or not i think it, there should be a good balance between having limited edition dolls and still having the access the fans having access to being able to purchase these dolls and not just from scalpers because that is a whole different issue i can't believe this is my seventh video talking about this collaboration and it ha it is now come to an end coming to an end um i yeah I, I feel like there's a common theme with in every video i keep talking about it like the scalpers that's the biggest issue but then also brats not taking action against issues like that they don't improve upon uh, you know their website like they didn't fix the regina bug in the cart you know like they didn't fix a lot of glitches happening on their website they all they did really effectively that we saw that actually impacted like regina's drop was add more stock uh, additional stock that's all that they've done to really impact the release and even then that was barely anything that was barely enough to change actually the trajectory of how the releases would go in the end and you can tell with the two pack it really just didn't change anything at actually at all <laughs> so, i mean it's great we got a little bit more stock how much is that really probably just like a again like 100 pieces thousand perhaps but it's not like they're actually performing Full on restocks soon. There's not going to be any restocks of any of these dolls. The Amazon releases are completely scrapped after Katie's, um, you know, short lived Amazon drop on Amazon UK. Like they completely scratched um, releasing the other two releases on Amazon at all. Like that, to me, that just shows that it went horribly. It was a mess. And they were just, they could not be bothered to deal with releasing these dolls on Amazon for more people to be able to get them uh in europe like just how how sucky is that <laughs> like it really just goes to show you that um brats does not care they perhaps they say things they say pretty words that look nice and they give us hope but really they're not saying anything at all they're just giving us empty words and empty promises and lies i mean again where's the update on regina for uk fans where's the update where's the follow-up information where are the listings on el corte inglés that you promised us like i just what it like i just don't i cannot understand how mga a big huge company they've been here for ages um is is having to face issues like this that seem so banal banal to me so ridiculous so bizarre right just so you wouldn't expect this you, you know you wouldn't expect this type of behavior and straight up negligence from mga i mean sure they want all really all companies want is your money they really just care about income um and you know that makes sense obviously capitalism <laughs> but at the same time they have to have a good relationship to their consumers and fans because without their fans they have no money so it's like why would they deliberately you know take such a risk and pissing us off when they know that without us with, without us fans brats is not here they would not be here where they are today so i just i cannot comprehend how they just again they straight up completely and neglected us for the most part <laughs> it's like especially european fans and i'm sure other fans from other countries like can you can they not understand that we also have money here to spend that we we would love to be a part of the group part of the cool group and like be able to participate in these releases um do they not understand that a lot of, a lot of us people here a lot of the fans would actually be able to and want to get these dolls if it were mass produced like does mga not understand these different uh things that to us seems very obvious i just yeah i'm not sure i'm not sure i don't know 
<laughs> I just see it's like it drives me crazy because it doesn't seem like it would have to be such a big deal. Um, it seems like such an obvious thing, like a Mean Girls Brad's collaboration, amazing, but mass produce them, you know, like the Kylie dolls, or just make or 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 release them, like the Moa Lola dolls, or Cool Gaia, or G G C D A, whatever. So right, like that would have been so much better. And those releases are similar to the Mean Girls release, but at least they had them on Amazon as well. At least they had them more available to more people, and it wasn't such such a limited release where it was sold out in seconds. Like I was able to get the one of the Moa Lola dolls on Amazon like months after. So it's not like you know like I feel like if I feel like they really messed up with Amazon because if they had just released this collaboration on Amazon, it would it would have really seriously it would have. I think it would have done wonders, um, but they completely scratched that. Um, uh, scrapped, scrapped. <laughs> they scrapped that um, release strategy as soon as they saw how Katie's release um, on Amazon went, and it went horribly. Uh, so I guess they gave up and they stopped trying, and they said, "You know what? F it. <laughs> we'll just do them on Bratz.com, and we'll barely do something on El Corte Inglés." And they still haven't updated us on the links on their story with anything about. The drop or El Corte Inglés or any future, you know, U UK uh, for UK fans, any like that. No, like there's no information. They've shared nothing else to us on their stories or posts or even on replies to comments. Like they, you can just tell. You can tell. Bratz is over it. They don't care anymore. <laughs> They they are finished with this collaboration with with this collaboration and they are moving on. Um, and I guess we should all too. We should all move on as well uh, because like I guess what else are we supposed to do? Um, this really just sucks. And I would have hoped that they would have improved. Uh, seeing with the Regina drop, but they didn't. Again, the only improvement really um, that actually impacted us as fans is that they had a bit more stock. Um, but that's it. The website was still glitchy as heck. Um, the scalpers still really got majority of the dolls. They still sold out, um, and there were still just tons of more issues. So you know, really nothing basically got improved upon or fixed. Um, it was still a mess. So it just yeah. And again, actions speak louder than words. So Bratz completely like negating any of this like any of this mess happening or like not addressing it. It goes to show you that they just don't care. They think they're above it, and they really don't care about us fans enough to talk about it and really address the problem and try to try to improve upon the problems, especially for future releases. I mean, I'm scared about how future releases like this will go on the Bratz website. Like, will they just have more collaborations that are really iconic, and most of us will not be able to get them because, again, it's limited to the Bratz website, and then.、Um, You know, it's like they only have like a thousand units of the doll. Like, what? What is this madness? Why do they have to do it like that? Like, it just there's a better way of doing stuff like this, of releasing dolls like this, um, to make it more cost efficient and also gain more income at the end of the day. But here, it's like they really just they gave up and they stopped trying and they were like, yeah, well, whatever. It's <laughs> it's, it's your problem, not mine. Like. I don't know. It just—it、uh, really sucks. I wish it was better, but it wasn't. I do think it is positive how these scalper listings, the prices have lowered significantly, at least for Regina. You know, going from like a hundred plus to like ninety US dollars. So that's definitely that's that's good for sure.、Uh, for Katie, the prices are still like really high,、um, but I think that's mainly because you know she was the first to drop, and because of that,、um, she didn't have additional. Stock like with Regina or the two pack,、um, and then the two pack, the prices I have seen, they're also not bad considering it's a hundred retail price,、um, and some of these prices you're paying almost two hundred. But again, with shipping, it's like okay, you know. Not not bad.、So、I guess in the long run, the prices will lower eventually even、uh, more. So that's good.、Um, so yeah, did you get any of the Mean Girls dolls or not? What was your experience with all four dolls?、Um, did you want to get them initially? Did you kind of get discouraged by the by the end to get a two pack?、Um, what was your experience? Yeah, and I think for all of us who didn't get any of these dolls and who perhaps live in countries where Bratz.com 
wasn't going to ship to. Um, what is your plan? Are you going to get them perhaps eventually on eBay? Or are you just going to completely give up on owning these dolls altogether? Because I think for me personally, I don't want to support scalpers. I hate how they've been behaving towards actual fans and like really belittling, belittling, belittling us um, and basically like, uh, you know, cl clowning us with like, oh, like basically like in your face, like Brad's collectors, we have the dolls, like haha, you know, like I don't like that behavior, obviously. Um, but at the same time, uh, just realistically speaking, I don't really see another way where I'm able to get these dolls. So I am going to keep a watchful eye on these listings and hopefully um, see the prices drop even more. Um, and if I see a good price, if I ever see a good listing for any of these dolls um, where it's not like atrocious and I'm not paying 200 plus for any of them, I think um, I might consider having to get them on eBay. I know, I'm so conflicted. Like, I really don't know what to do because I really do hate scalpers, like especially the ones that behave like that towards us with this collaboration. But at the same time, I really do genuinely love the dolls and I really want to have them in person. Uh, so I just don't know what to do. But uh, what, again, I'm just thinking about it. But what do you think? Let me know down below. I hope you all enjoyed. Leave a like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell and consider becoming a member today to support the channel if you're able to. And of course, so you don't miss out when I post more content like this coming your way and keeping you up to date with all the doll tea you love. Stay safe. Be kind. I hope this next time stay PG. Kisses.